So, Martin, uh, you were with us this week as a jury member mm -hmm. for the international competition. Uh, it's uh, already the end of the week. Yeah. yeah. And uh, so you, I think you've seen like 15 movies this week. Could be, yeah. Do you think as a director it's important to stay in touch with what young directors do? Um, yes. And as I say it, I feel guilty because I don't do it enough. Um, <clears throat> it's... Um, when you're busy it's, and, and you've got a family, I've got two children, it's quite difficult to, uh, to go to the cinemas often enough. So this is fantastic. This is a uh, um, um, perfect way to, uh, to see uh, new movies. And uh, I like also that it's the fact that they're, they're genre movies, you know, that they're in the fantastic film uh, genre. And uh, um, uh, I think that some of these movies are movies that I would probably never have seen, would have seen, because I don't know whether they would get released in, uh, in, in Holland. So that was, that was great. Although they're not all uh, uh, new directors, right? Some, some are older than me. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, we have a few classic directors yeah. this year, yeah. like Gaspar Noé or Lars von Trier. Yeah. 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 And uh, do you have uh, any comments on the selection? Because it's five, uh, 15 very different movies. No, that they are uh, very different. Uh, overall, I have to say, and I don't know um, why that is, but it seems to me, and we were discussing this in the jury, uh, that uh, uh, there seems to be, and maybe that has to do with financing, there seems to be a, sort of a... Um, um, a whiff of uh, political correctness in in uh, a lot of these movies, you know that, um, uh, and, and of course it's strange because it used to be that uh, the, the genre movies, especially the, the fantastic uh, ones, um, um, always were the bold movies, right? They were the the dangerous ones. They were not the ones who tried to be chic. Or, uh, and what you see now is that, and I don't know if this is because of financing or what or whatever, is that. Uh, um, very often there is, you know, they're very inclusive and they're very, uh, uh, all sorts of things. And it, it, it doesn't always uh, uh, help the story. I mean, of I mean, I'm not saying that diversity is, uh, is wrong, but sometimes there's a political idea that's a little safe. And uh, um, um, that's that's I think is a is a shame. It's a, it's um, um, ultimately the, the, the movies that were good enough and transcended that idea. But it's, if you think about it, it's, it's it, there's something odd going on there. Yeah, true. Um, maybe it has to do with the fact that now genre becomes really mainstream. Even big movies coming out are related to to, to genre. Yeah, but that's something that has been going on already for a long time. Uh, th that's, I think, something that started in the in the 70s, actually. You know, when when uh, when uh, uh, With the no, well, well, no, when, when Spielberg made Jaws, yeah. you know, that was such a big success. Then uh, then uh, Roger Corman said, okay, that's it. You know, we, we that that's a movie that normally would have been made for I don't know a million dollars, and you know, because it's it, it's a monster movie, right? Yeah. And uh, um, uh, and The Exorcist is another is another good example, of course. But uh, I mean, Jaws was such a phenomenal success. I mean, it was so. I mean, it's the, the, the birth of the blockbuster, right? And uh, um, um, uh, but still, there was a there was still. I think at some point, I mean, uh, like horror movies uh, were were at you know the the still the bravest movies in, in for instance to come out of hollywood because somehow they could play with you know a, a different game they didn't the only ones who didn't necessarily have to have a happy ending you know that that could be a, a, a bit uh, nasty and uh, and and that um, and i like i like the outrageousness the boldness of these movies and i hope that comes back Hopefully, but I mean, I don't. I don't want to sound like an, uh, a nagging old man. No, no. You know, I mean, it's it's. Uh, 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 I mean, I've seen movies that were, you know, as I said, they transcend that idea. That were great, and uh, and they had some fantastic scenes, you know, that really were thrilling and everything. So I mean, I'm I'm, I'm very happy I came. And uh, movie changed, genre changed, and also the way people see movie changed. Mm -hmm. uh, as a festival, we, uh, we feel like uh, we, we celebrate the fact of seeing movies in a theater yeah. with other people. Yeah. Is it important to you as so a filmmaker? Is, is it important to you as a filmmaker? Yeah, well, I, um, it's a strange uh, thing that 
of course, I also like having a home theater, you know, and having a, you know, I've got a big screen, and, and, and you can see anything nowadays if you uh, view almost anything, and then you can see it in your home, and that's a, that's a benefit. But there's nothing like seeing a movie with an audience. And I mean, I mean uh, if, you, if, you, if you see a comedy and, and the people around you laugh with you, or you see a horror movie and the people scream, it's such a big difference. It has such, I mean, it in, and no matter, this is also a big thing, for instance, with, uh, with uh, uh, for instance, film critics who, who often see movies in a, you know, with other film critics, and, and, and basically there's a sort of like a golden rule that you don't show your emotion when you see, because, I don't know, it would be cheating or something, I don't know. And, but that's a completely unnatural way of seeing movies in the theater, actually. So, um, um, uh, no, I mean, there's, it's, I think that is what actually always was the success of, of, of movies, you know, that you could, uh, that you would, uh, that you would see it with an audience. Yes. Uh, and, and as a filmmaker, there's nothing better. If you see it on a big screen, on a good screen with good sound and good image, you know, which if it is really good, it's always better than any system at home. <clears throat> and then you see it with an audience, your own movie, and they laugh at the right spot or they scream at the right spot. That's the best. I mean, that, that, that you, I mean, that Netflix or anything can't com compare with that and compete with that in any way. Yes, it's true. Yeah. And especially for you, who made a big two hour and a half Western mm -hmm. yeah. uh, with a great casting. Yeah, th it's, it's, uh, um, uh, I was happy that it uh, went in the theater in so many countries. Uh, still, at some countries it didn't. You know, I mean, it's uh, for instance in Spain, it uh, it was uh, it did not go to uh, into the cinemas, and that's a shame because I think that at least you should have the chance to see it on a big screen because it, that's what it's made for. Yes, mm. especially that kind of film. Yeah. Uh, you, so you did a, a western, which is a genre film. Yeah. Uh, seeing all those fantastic films. Do you think, uh, do you feel uh, drawn to this genre of film oh, yes. also? Oh, absolutely. I mean, uh, uh, I'm, I'm not going to say that, uh, um, that that's the only type of movie that I'm going to make from now on, but I think genre, and if you take genre not just as horror or something, but also like thriller and that type of movie, I would like to think that from now on I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make movies that, are, that can be defined as genre movies. I don't know what the future brings, but that's uh, that's where I am now. I'm now I'm working at a sort of a, a noirish thriller, uh, and uh, um, yeah, and s I have some other ideas, and that are, that all fit into some genre in that sense. Yeah. Um, Harry told me something. Harry Kummel, who mm -hmm. wasn't sure with yeah. you, and uh, I hope it's not betraying anything that right. to say it here but uh, he told me that uh, coming out of the screening room after a movie you told you told him it's good to see a movie that gives you courage I don't know which movie you were talking about that gives you courage yeah I don't know which it's possible that yeah. I said that yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. What, yeah. What, what did you mean it's uh, I have no idea <laughs> I, said that. No. I mean the, uh, 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 it's it's good to be invigorated as a filmmaker and uh, uh, it's, it's uh, um, everybody likes to think of himself as a brave filmmaker, you know, who does anything and will do anything. But the thing is, the fact is, of course, that you are insecure as well. And sometimes you, it's good to get a certain push on any level. I mean, it could be in terms of content, could be in, you know, that you have somebody who does something brave. It could also be in, in terms of, uh, uh, new stuff, you know that uh, that you uh, that you see a movie that works, and uh, oh, I think I think I know what it means. Okay. Yeah, I think I know. I think and I know what movie it was. I think it was the winner, and uh, uh, which I'm not going to say at this moment because please it's don't. Loud. All right. <laughs> uh, uh, it it it's good to see that uh, um, you can be. It's it's a very typical f filmmaker's thing, do you know? It's that you can be conventional in a certain way and still be modern, and still be uh, uh, and 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 I have to say that I was a bit uh, how do you say it? Uh, 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 well, depressed is maybe too much, but I was a bit cynical about uh, European movies in, in a way, or actually movies of any. Uh, so then you start to think that uh, um, uh, uh, it used to be better and all that stuff. And I don't want to be in that space, you know, I don't want to be there. So then when I saw that movie and it was, a, it was made by a young director, it was um, uh, not on an extremely high budget and it worked, the movie worked. 
and, uh, and, uh, and, and, and I think that's when I said it. I said, you know, that gives you, you know, the courage to go on. Yeah, yeah that's great. Mm -hmm. Thank you for all these answers and thank you for your work this okay. week. All right. Bye.